Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials and in this video we are going to make use of our metrics that we are exposing but this time we are going to set up an open source monitoring tool to store that uh, data. We have different options but we are going to use uh, Prometheus in this uh, training because uh, it's just widely used and uh, you can find a lot of documentation around uh, the internet. So uh, Prometheus, it's uh, an open source monitoring tool that was originally built by SoundCloud. The ex-Googlers that went from Google to SoundCloud, they created and open sourced this. It's just a data scraper that pulls metric data over HTTP. It will pull that data periodically. We can configure, but by default, I think it's uh, 15 seconds. And it's going to store everything in a time series database. All this metric data will be stored for later use, uh, for example, for Grafana or Elasticsearch, Graphite, and so on. So it's uh, it offers a simple user interface that we can visualize. They have their own query language promo QL, and we can use that to create uh, nice graphs. So before we start, uh, we already have here the endpoints being exposed, info, health, and metrics, but now we are going to add a new one, and this one will be Prometheus. Now, if you want more information, just go here to Prometheus.io and you can get all that information about how to work with Prometheus because we are just going to scratch over the service of what Prometheus has to offer. So, going back here, uh, we have to add one extra thing. Prometheus, by the way, always pulls data. You cannot uh, push data. So, push and pull, it's like a religion. And uh, we are going to add here one dependency that will make Spring release the Prometheus uh, metrics in a, in a way that Prometheus will understand. So just add one dependency. It's a micrometer registry Prometheus. And when you do this, and if you start your application, you will have access to localhost 8080 slash actuator so let's just go to actuator first and you will see here that we have one endpoint called prometheus so if you go to this endpoint you will see that we have all this information being exposed by the spring actuator of this application in a prometheus uh, way now that we have all of this we have to configure prometheus so we don't have it running here you can run uh, prometheus natively or you can just add to the docker compose so let's add to the Docker Compose. Actually, there is another thing and the, before that, we have to set up the Prometheus.yaml. So we have here configuring Prometheus to listen to itself. It's something like this. I just needed the configuration file. This one getting started. Okay, I just need this file to make it easy to bootstrap. So I will create here one file called prometheus.yaml. And as you can see here, it will scrape every 15 seconds. I'm not going to use these external labels. And here at the configuration, the script configuration, we have the Prometheus just getting the configuration for itself. So basically every five seconds, Prometheus will just release all this uh, information and you can monitor what's happening inside itself. But we are going to create another job because this is not what we're looking for. So I will just copy this and I will add a new job here. So this job, we can call it Spring Boot dash Essentials dash Actuator. And uh, we can leave it every five seconds, but we need to tell where we are going to get these metrics. And remember, it is inside metrics, sorry, actuator, not metrics, actuator. Slash Prometheus. So every five seconds, it's going here and it will pull. The only problem here is since we are going to run Prometheus inside the Docker container, since I'm running Mac, I need this configuration host.docker.dot 
internal. So I think it will change based on your SO. Just use the correct configuration to make it available. It could be localhost, and then you have to set up a network inside your Docker Compose file. But for me, I will just uh, set this configuration. Okay, now inside Docker Compose, we have to tell uh, Docker Compose that we are now going to use Prometheus as well. So we are starting the database here. And as you can see, we have these services. So we can set more information. So for example, I'll add here Prometheus. And then I will tell that I should pull the image from prom slash Prometheus latest. And then container name, I can give Prometheus. And then I will add the volumes because I need to add this Prometheus.yaml. So basically, just go to SRC main resources, and then you get the Prometheus.yaml, and then you send to etc Prometheus. Let me start copying Prometheus, because the chances that I'm going to have a typo, it's pretty high. Okay, and now I need to run a command to set up this configuration file. Config.file and I just copy this path. So I'm telling Prometheus that this will be the configuration file that I would like to be running. And I'm going to expose the port, as you saw there, I'm exposing the port 9090 to 9090. So this port that we have right here. So I'm saying that this is going to run on port 9090. Now that we have uh, everything, let's just stop the Docker, if you have it running, and just run Docker Compose docker dash compose up okay so let's see prometheus running we can access localhost 9090 slash targets so as you can see here we have our application down looks like uh, it couldn't find my application let me reboot my spring application but you can see here that we have uh, localhost 9090 metrics running. So this is uh, the Prometheus itself. Okay, so the application is running. Let's um, refresh here. Now we have the application up. We can come here to graph. And as you can see, we have several metrics, but which ones are Prometheus and which ones are Spring? It's uh, pretty difficult to find if it's your first time they can look at the Prometheus. So to make it easier, what we are going to do, we are just coming here to the Prometheus.yaml and I will remove this one. And then I will have to stop the Docker Compose. And it will just run a Docker Compose up again. Okay, now if we refresh, you can see that we, looks like we still have all this being scraped. Okay, so let me try something different here. I'll run docker-compose down and docker-compose up, you just have an alias DCU. Okay, so we can configure alerts if something bad is going on. I just want to see. There you go. We have all the Spring actuator. So you can uh, set up here, for example, I want to see how many. Let's search here HTTP requests per second. And then if you click on execute and graph, you have a nice graph here. Let me just zoom out. And you can tell every, for example, one minute. So we only have one. Looks like only this actuator. Let's uh, try something here. Localhost 8080 slash 
swagger. Let's log in. Let's see what we have in our database. Let's query everything. Try it out. Just remove, execute. Mm. Yeah, we could fix this. This should not be required. Okay, so we have ID 4. So let's. Uh, actually, this one may be. So just if you click several times here. This is not the best way to do this kind of test. And then if you execute, now you have more data. So this is just scratching the, the beginning of this topic. Prometheus can be like a, a training itself, a full playlist with 30 videos. But this is just uh, to give an idea that you are exposing the some metrics and these metrics can be scraped by one of these monitoring tools. So I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye.